Should comic books reflect the election? Should uh, the results in November be reflected inside the comic? And so, you know, January, you've got a new president and they're appearing in the comic. Should, should that happen? Uh, well, let's, let, me, let me give you my opinion on it. Hey, this is Perch. I'm tired of, you know, at the, the cold open, uh, hard, yeah, if you will, I'll say the, uh, well, let's talk about it. I hate that. Uh, that's just, I was like, duh, 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 duh. I hate that phrase. So I'm, I'm trying to figure something else, but it's awkward. Like if you go back and listen to this one, it's awkward. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I need a better, I need taglines. Help me people. Anyway, uh, so we're heading up to 2020. Uh, the United States lives in omnipresent elections where you're never really never you're, really, you're never really not campaigning. You're always campaigning, and there's always always that's going on. And so the the comics uh, of late, they did this with uh, Barack Obama. They did this with um, Trump in different ways, certainly. They didn't do this with Bush. They didn't really do this with Clinton, where the comics you know do something between you know say December and February, where the election will be reflected in the comic. And it's the president's like hanging out with Obama's case. It's like oh, Mysterio's trying to impersonate him and. And uh, over in Thunderbolts, you know, he's being conned by Norman Osborn. Um, and there are others. And then in the uh, Trump's case, then Modoc was Trump. And then there was like angry, you know, th there's this one picture of Trump, like he's got his finger up and they got, they got that still frame of him and he's, he's looking super fat and he's like, ah, you know, yelling in kind of a, you know, you know, Arr! kind of way. And uh, there's a sound effect for you. And so, the new elections coming up, you know, we're here in 2020 and there's going to be a new president, uh, or, or, well, sorry, there may be a new president, maybe the same president for a new term, uh, in, you know, 11 months. And should comics reflect this? Should comics go all in and, and do this kind of president shows up and you do some stories, you, you recognize this event. And my stance has always been no. Uh, not because they shouldn't be political or anything like that, but because the second you do that, the comic is now dated. And I think comics work best when you tell big stories that are timeless and that don't get into kind of moments of the day. It's why I think, you know, like Spider-Man swinging around, uh, you know, New York and there's AOC walking around, you know, doing Instagram. I think that that's a bad idea. I, I think that that's... Uh, I, I just think it dates stuff. Now, I don't. I, th I think you can use these characters again. I think the one I always go back to my head is you know Mark Miller used George W. Bush in the Ultimates when things were made, and the, the president was there, and he's like making a comment, and that didn't feel dated. It, it, certainly, the president you know is a is a moment in time that particular president, but it didn't feel tied to an election. It just felt like hey, here's here's the president, he's there, and they didn't make a big deal out of it. They didn't like try and hit the inauguration day with a comic or anything. And I think in this case, the comic companies won't be able to help themselves. If Trump wins re-election, then undoubtedly we're going to get a giant robot Trump, you know, smashing around and fighting the Hulk or something, or you're going to get uh, kind of a storyline of like, oh my God, but the government was conned by this orange guy. You're just going to get that. And if there's a different president, say there's Elizabeth Warren president, then there's she's going to be joining the Avengers. You know, they're going to have all that going on. And I just think it's, it just shouldn't be, I, I just don't think it's a good idea. My opinion. Now, this is purely in the realm of personal opinion. And different people have different views and everything else. And I think if you're doing a comic book, say, about elections, and I think it would probably be an interesting crowdfunded or indie comic to do one about the kind of forever elections in the same uh, vein as the Netflix, uh, the Candidate series, or, or there's a couple others. Um, uh, what is the one election? Oh, election. Sure. With Matthew Broderick, election. Um, you can do a comic like that. That's not a superhero comic and that you're, you're kind of doing something leading up to the election and kind of the various shenanigans that were going on. Um, I think that's fine. I think you do things like the vote Loki, uh, little limited series that they did where he was running and, and you kind of you know, run it that way. I think that that's something you can do, but generally speaking, I think in big comics, like, Spider-Man or Batman or Superman or the Hulk or the Avengers or, or what have you. I think that it's a bad idea to date them. 
like that because it does it does have a very dated feeling. If you go back and you read Thunderbolts or you read uh, Spider Man, you read some of these things, and you come across a Barack Obama moment, it doesn't feel like kind of a celebration of the first African American president. It feels more like you know shoehorning in something based on a, a moment in time. And so I think it takes away from the book. I, I, I just don't, I, I think it's a bad idea. Um, I, the other thing I'd, I'd kind of, I guess, throw out there with it, not so much about alienating your audience, but you do, you know, for all the people who weren't excited about that candidate and didn't want that candidate to win or hoping for the other candidate, it does kind of often feel like you're, yeah, kind of you're wagging your finger in your face. You're, you're just kind of making it very clear, like, ah, look who won, my guy. And it's just, it's, it's, there's something about it that, I mean, it's like, it's like the creator's taking a victory lap because their person got in. And, and again, that's fine. You know, it's like a football game. Your guy wins, then, you know, you get to steal the other person's truck. That's, that's how it works. Those are the rules. But it's just not, it's not, again, again, in a comic book, it takes you out of the moment. So I'm hoping in 2020, there's some restraint shown. Whoever is president, I just hope there's just, you know, it, it goes on. People think carefully, how do we want to insert this person? I think if, let's say, you know, a lot of the Marvel staffers, Marvel creators are certainly Democrat, probably hoping for a Democrat president. And I would say, let's say Elizabeth Warren. Let's say we get our first female president. The best way to really reflect that in the comics in a timeless, awesome, great moment, the best way to celebrate is to not immediately jump in with a bunch of kind of crammed in panels of like Spider-Man going, I'm so glad we got a woman president. Don't rather do a story, you know, to to discredit like Warren Ellis did for the Thunderbolts. Uh, But, but not immediately after the election, just, just, just recognize the moment in a big way by having the character, uh, you know, insert, having the president inserted neatly into the story in a way that actually creates a big moment. I mean, uh, Brian Hitch and and Mark Miller for Ultimates gave an entire giant splash page to W. Bush in that comic. You can do something similar. Um, just just do it in a way that's that, that fits in the story. And as a result, it will have a lot more impact. I think that, that that's what you need to do. That's that's called uh, that's called making it uh, putting your best foot forward. Anyway, that's my opinion. What's yours? Do you care? Do you like seeing the president reflected there, whether it's Trump uh, in a good way, bad way? Uh, you know, how, how do you care? Does this matter to you? Do, you? do you get my point on timelessness? Does this resonate at all? Curious what you think. Leave a comment below. Like, subscribe, and uh, follow me on Twitter at Comic Perch. If you have any suggestions for videos, things you want me to talk about, happy to do so. Thanks for listening.